A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but on the inside they are full of bones of the dead and all kinds of filth. You also on the outside look righteous to others, but on the inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are the descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. We are in a difficult uh, series chapter here in Matthew. We've been hearing these woe to you, woe to you for days now. And today we have two more woes. Uh, the, the first woe uh, is really what I um, am inspired to share. Uh, the idea of these whitewash tombs. We know in Jesus's time, um, one of the most unclean things that someone could do or encounter um, is encountering the dead. And these tombs were whitewashed um, partially so that they would be seen and noticed um, so that people wouldn't accidentally come into context with them, particularly around great uh, Jewish festivals uh, such as the Passover. Um, because people would be coming from different local areas and they didn't know the area as well and you didn't want to accidentally walk up or uh, stumble into uh, a grave or a tomb. So they would be whitewashed so that they could be obvious and visible. Um, and what Jesus is saying to the scribes and the Pharisees is you are like a filthy tomb where your outside has been beautified and cleaned and whitewashed, but you've not dealt with the inside. Inside are bones and uh, filth, as Jesus says. Uh, now, we have a different understanding about death and about the body after death. So I'm not sure that this metaphor is as powerful um, or, or connects with us in this context uh, the same way that it did in his original context. But I think we can identify with the idea of how hard we work to beautify our outward appearance and neglect the inside. I think of this particularly in the context of social media and how hard many of us work to present um, a certain side of ourselves, whether it's on uh, TikTok or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, whatever whatever you use, um, you know that we we are very intentional about what we share with the world. We're very intentional about the way that we want to appear in the world, um, whether it is in social media or uh, in in real life in person. And sometimes uh, those platforms, in particular, can have such a negative impact on our insides. Uh, because they're not coherent. Um, we don't have space to, to uh, attend to both. Um, and so today, as we read this, I think about Jesus' words of, woe to you in working so hard to present yourself as perfect. Woe to you for not dealing with the inside of yourself with the parts of yourself that we are not proud of. Today, I hope we take a moment just to consider this and attend to whatever we're carrying on the inside. Our tradition offers fantastic opportunities to confess and to examine the, the heaviness or the darkness that we carry that we don't want to share with the world. But if we don't deal with that at all, it truly will fester and will uh, will become filth within ourselves. 
So take advantage of this opportunity to explore that and to offer it to God. Amen.